Welcome back. It's time for our weekly edition of TNT. Say what? Today, we are talking about one of our favorite topics, clothes, but specifically taking the power back over your clothing. So this topic was sparked by a post from the Bird's Papaya about a swimsuit she had for two years fit her very well two years ago. She is pregnant right now, and she was looking at the swimsuit, the bikini, and thinking, I am not ready for this. Stop looking at me in the corner. I see you looking at me. I don't want to put you on. <laughs> and sh what she did is she put it on, and she posted a picture of her in uh, the bikini, and she said to herself, um, the suit had sat there for two years. Nothing about it had changed. Nothing, the only thing that had changed was, was her idea about the suit. Because two years ago when she put it on, she felt like she was slamming. And now all of a sudden she felt like she couldn't. So she put it on to take back that power. And we thought we would talk a little bit about clothing and the power of clothing. Because my weight goes up and down, up and down. Listen, I'm public facing. Everybody knows that. You can see um, my weight fluctuations. But this was, must have been like two or three years ago. I went to the mall and I was trying on clothing after clothing in the change room anyone out there that has been through this you take the clothing that you think is your size and you take it to the change room and you're putting it on and you can't get it past your calf you can't get it past your thigh you can't get the thing on over your neck and I would sit there with these outfits and I would throw them on the ground when I was done like oh you need to sit there and think about what you've done I'm giving you a time out you jeans you don't fit and I thought to myself why am I torturing myself like go up a freaking size or two. And that's what I did. It was like this moment of lucidity. And I just decided I'm not torturing myself anymore. I am just going to go up sizes and find the clothing that fits this booty because there's nothing wrong with the booty. I need the clothes to be okay with it. Uh, so we thought we'd throw it out there. Clothing, power, what do you think, T? I sympathize with you with that story. We've all been there where we go, we're, we're having an event or we're going to buy clothing for something and we just, everything we try on, it's not fitting, it's not working and it really can deflate you. You can go, we can walk away from the whole experience feeling really bad about yourself. Um, and I think we do need to take that back. I'm of the mindset of like, like you, I learned a long time ago to let the numbers go. I really, honestly, and I'm being dead serious when I say this, I'm not saying it for TV. I really don't care what the size is. I care more about what it fits. I have sizes in my closet anywhere from a size 16 to a 22. And I'm usually an 18, but I have I have sizes that range all in between, and I don't care. There are times where I'm like, I gotta go up to a 22 because that's what it says and that's what it will fit. We give too much power to the number, and we really have to understand some of these companies they they size down, so you can feel bad about yourself, and you really were the size 18, but you know in that clothing line you go up a size, or in some of them they do the opposite, and they'll like vanity. I think it's called vanity uh, sizing, where the, if you're really a size 18 it'll say that you're 16 so you know you can't really give too much credence to that kind of stuff don't worry about the number just worry about how it feels but I do uh, uh, have of two mindsets of this I do think that clothes do play a part in how we feel and I do think we should go with things that feel fit and make us feel good because there is something to say like how many times have we worn like oh, maybe sex sexy underwear that we are wearing underneath our clothes even nobody knows we're wearing it but it makes us walk better it makes us feel better it makes us you know feel sexy even though no one else knows what we're doing why do we walk into a job interview with a power suit on and we feel good about ourselves there is something to clothing lending itself to how we feel. Speaking of clothing <laughs> and power, there is something about, and I've said this before on Instagram, getting up every morning and putting on clothing for the show, even though I'm on the second floor of my house, it makes me feel like it makes me get more things done. I could actually live happily in an yeah. oversized t-shirt and leggings every day, <laughs> or in my workout wear, I could just keep it on for the rest of the day. Like I, I could live in my fitness clothing, but getting changed, you're right. There is some power about putting on an outfit and feeling like you're almost putting on armor. And for me, it's the separation between yeah. mom Tracy and work Tracy. I like being able to 
put on a cute outfit and um, you know comb my hair and and do stuff on air but yeah I have like you T my closet is I'm looking at it now probably there might be a few size sixes in there and I don't know why but all the way up to maybe a size 14 because I depends on the day of the week I can fit into them all you know so yeah, yeah I I'm over yeah. trying to shove my body into a six to eight. It's like, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Especially now in COVID times, like I'm letting it go. So thank you for your thoughts on that. You're always a very good, I think we're a good influence on each other when it comes to, to that kind of stuff. And we just wanna look good. That's the, that's the important thing, am I yeah, right? I just wanna look good. All right, T, thank you so much.